Hey y'all, Farmer Dre back at it. Today we are planting our zinnias for the fall festival. We've been busy all day getting the irrigation going. Actually, we didn't get started until about six o'clock. We, this is our only project of the day. And then we got going and we just never got to uh, getting the irrigation done. We were like, you know what? Today we're gonna plant the zinnias started off in the morning strong and we just never got around to it so it is getting dark it's a beautiful sunset um so everything's looking good the irrigation gone now we've got to plant these zinnias as you guys know we mix them in with the oats and just to have a filler zinnia seeds are really small so you got to mix them in with the oats to have them run through the machine we're using the um hay buster no-till drill that we ran from the nrcs uh, $12 an acre to plant, so it's not terribly bad, but it's the only way to do it. No-till drill, plant the flowers. I'm also going to try a bunch of cut flowers as well this year with the zinnias. So, um, yeah, trying a lot of good things. Just getting after it. All right, so we mix the zinnia seeds. There's eight pounds of zinnias with a 50-pound bag of oats. Uh, I didn't get any oats to plant. They didn't have any, so let's just feed oats. The main reason for the oats is to feed it through the machine. Um, that's the only reason this stuff will germinate. I talked to the guy. So uh, we're just finishing it off here. So there's going to be 59 pounds of seeds total. The good old New Holland tractor and uh, brand new hay buster from the NRCS. But yeah, we pulled all the plastic on the strawberries on Monday. Today is Thursday. Getting ready to plant zinnia. So one crop to another. Can't beat that. <laughs> That's the old plastic on the strawberries we got to pick up. We did push push out this block of trees. This is where the strawberries are going to go. And uh, the sweet corn's down there as well rotating crops so that's the irrigation we put in my well house um sunflowers be going right there the zinnia is going right here so getting done even though we well, this is till the ground we still use a no-till drill as you guys can see the irrigation these are uh just rain bird sprinklers or lay flat hose uh, we just put them in the ground and that's it so um hopefully about an acre of zinnia is going in the dirt is soft so uh we'll see what we can do maybe i should have I don't have a roller. Maybe we should have rolled it. But hey, yeah, scoot over. Hey, you're on the drip line here. You're on the drip line. You're on the drip line. Whatever. You'll figure it out. He's backing all the way up. Oh, move the connector, connector, connector. There you go. <laughs> I already smashed three of those this season. That's no good. But yeah, buddy. Ten foot no till drill. We got Isaac as the driver. I trusted him last year, and stuff turned out pretty good. So I guess. Have no chance of trusting him. I gotta trust him again this year, so. So here we are going. We should have compacted it. is no-till drill, but we should have. The dirt is just so soft from, from the strawberries ground in it. We leveled it off, so. Go up a little, Isaac, up! We don't want to plant these too deep. Maybe a half inch to three quarter inch. You can see there's some of the oats coming through. So, go down a little more. But there's not too much of this, but yeah, you can see the zinnia seeds there. Yep, zinnia seed right there. So, after trying the irrigation, we shall be good to go. But yeah, buddy, planting away. Corn is coming up with corn maize. Corn maize coming up. Zinnia's coming up. Sunflower's going on the backside. Can't beat it. The nice things about going in after strawberries is there's so much fertilizer on the ground from the strawberry crop. We don't have to fertilize this at all for the flower crop. So uh, 
double cropping this so it's gonna be nice and beautiful but yeah that's one of the great aspects of um planting multiple crops in the same ground one year but the issue is we gotta let it rejuvenate after a while so i think next next spring we're gonna plant a cover crop and we're not going to use this ground until strawberries again the next following fall so yep gotta plant a cover crop just till it under build up that organic matter but yeah sunflowers going in or zinnias going in sunflowers next week so can't beat it I'm walking behind here making sure that the seeds getting covered up and i'm telling isaac either lift it up or down the bad thing is is i get a few spots that are kind of uneven so the seed doesn't get covered away but i just want to plant it too deep plant it too deep they don't take too long to germinate but with this heat it should be up no problem no time at all but um uh, yep go up a little bit isaac You kind of want it at soil surface, pretty much. Alrighty, so we got done planting last night, and now we are running irrigation. Our only job now is uh, we already went ahead and pre the, put the pre-emerge on this morning, the pre-emerge herbicide. And now, only job is to water them, make sure they are going to start growing, keep an eye on disease. Uh, biggest thing is make sure in the next couple days we get plenty of water so they can go ahead and germinate. But the irrigation is running, looking everything looking beautiful. So yeah, you can't beat that. Irrigation's on. They're planted. We so it's just a big waiting game now. Right, listen, if Forte, if you guys haven't already, go in and check out Farmer Dre Supply. That's where you're able to find all your gardening and greenhouse needs, irrigation supplies, seeds, um, all the gardening needs. Go and check it out. Like always, link is down in the description box below, or go to farmerdraysupply.com. Hey, that's gonna be it for today. If you guys haven't already, go and hit that subscribe button. Smash that like button if you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget, hit that notification icon so you guys can be notified whenever I do upload a video. I want to say thanks for watching Up Since Point. Y'all have a good day, and we will see you next time.